Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with... TNT Dynamite the Explosive One, Jonas. I'm the man on the sticks. You are. And you are also on the sticks. I have one. But we're looking at my sticks. Your sticks and you. And we're playing uh, Borderlands Trey. I have so much trouble getting in this vehicle all the time. Yeah, you gotta like look up where you want to get into. Yeah, dude. It's, it's, it is weird, though. Okay, I thought I was dead. You're not. Now we are. Oh, God. What's happening? Oh, there's... Guys, oh, there's, there's racks. There's birds, dude. There's racks on racks on racks. Blood feud. Wow, dude. Dude, look at us. We're We're driving. moving it. Yeah, explosions. <laughs> <laughs> There's supposed to be varkids and stuff here. Oh, boy, spider ant. Oh, the game's still oh. catching up. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> oh. I'm trying to keep us on the road, I dude, swear. Well, it's, my game's glitching like a bee over here. Yours is. But that... Mine's doing all right. I just got a cue. Oh, oh, there's an enemy. Oh, he Doom. landed on top of us. Why would he do that? Because he wanted to. I can't even. I can't not tell. My, my game is not. I'm sorry, sir. I it's can't unfortunate. Do anything. It's all right. You don't have to. There we go. Now I can finally do something. Oh, my God. Okay, look. I don't know if we're going to live. We might have to abandon ship. Just, just letting it be known. Abandoning ship might have to happen. We're good. We're good. We're okay. Fine. No, we're good. We're good. Do we we're need good. to get out for a second? Let no, the, I'm just okay. gonna chill right here, and we're back. No Whew. All right, we're safe. good. Man, it was very uh, not glitchy, laggy. <laughs> that's what I want to say. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Yeah, man. dude. You know this game's not. I've never heard anyone say this game lags. That's why uh, when we record, I just take host or you I take host, depending on who we're recording. Oh, yeah, because the host isn't as lagful. Mm -hmm. Oh, is that a jump? We, started recording? we were talking about, uh... Not, but not the analytics, like something else. <laughs> we are talking about flipping your ride. Uh, what were we talking about? <laughs> we, were we were talking about your guns. I'm going backwards in time. Yeah, were... dude, I want to go back in time. I don't, dude, I don't remember. We always, like, talk about stuff, and then we go, man, we should have about talk about that on the video. Yeah, That's, no. like, the story of our life. Yeah, and nice work. you 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 can't contain yourself, dude. I can't. As soon as the conversation is on the table, you're, oh you're all God. over that ish like white on rice. Oh, dude, is that a j white joke? That is not. It, it well, I mean, the, yes, the color. Okay, we're gonna die. Get out of the ship. Get why out. Get you, out of the ship, dude. Dying? Just get out real quick. Why Just get out. Get out for dude. a second. Just get out for a second. I don't like this man. Thank you. All right, let's get back in. <laughs> oh, there we go. Yeah, no, no, I got you. Like, dude, okay. And here's the reason why that happens. Like, I like, I like conversation a lot. So, <laughs> you like, don't freaking say. And so, <laughs> when a conversation starts, I'm like say. in it, dude. Like, I can't oh, like hold I, back. I, I know. And I got this brain that like thinks, I dude. Know, it's nuts. I got one of those too, but it's just like but you I'm hate good. talking. Uh, I wouldn't say I hate well, talking, hate but talking it's to me. it's not. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I don't, no, I just don't like. I don't hold it in high of regard as you do. Yeah, I love talking, dude. Like Ooh. I would say that I like, I like not talking more than talk, okay, that's fair. talking. I'll, I say that's true. But I don't hate talking. It's not like I put talk. Why are you burning me? <laughs> You're just on a fire. It's not like I put talking on the same regard as like Hitler or something. Wow. <laughs> it's not like I oh my god. Budget, hope not. <laughs> Jeez. It's not like uh, Hitler talking KKK. That's not my hierarchy of hates. Okay, I feel you. Jonas, hierarchy of hate, go. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, we gotta shoot this something. thing. Oh, yeah, I'm not a big fan of that that's either. My, that's like probably way up there in my hierarchy of hate. Right, this mf -er. um, Dead. What else is the thing that I hate? Uh, uh, gay marriage, Jonas. I know. <laughs> is that no? <laughs> About gay. Oh. Can be gay and get married. I don't care. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought, I that, I thought that was on your list. I thought uh, it was. What else do I hate? Uh, uh, the abuse of any kind, whether Ooh. it's children, animals, women, men. Okay. Whatever. Okay. That's so, up there. Racism, abuse. Okay. Um, 
This is like my list of likes. <laughs> wow. Gosh, I knew you were racist. This is sweaty. What are we doing? <laughs> I'm trying to get the car where it needs to go. Why am I out of the car? He kicks us out. Oh, okay. Those two things are pretty bad. All right. Now we go to the devil's razor. Dude, that's how I feel about the razor I use all the time. <laughs> Wait, there was only two hates, Jones. You got to have another one. I need to think. Hold on. Mondays. Uh, I was, no, I can't say that. <laughs> I, I would be a bad joke. So, <laughs> um, um, those two cover a lot, though. Racism and abuse. All right. Yeah, that um. does. That does. Uh, it's it's hard to come up with them on the spot. Because I mean, even abuse can cover abuse of power. Abu you know, so, and I hate that too. So it's like, ooh, Jones. yeah, dude. I uh... speaking about the administration. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Man, I don't know, Jonas. They say that power corrupts, and absolute power corrupts absolutely. Yes, which which just means that uh, if we became rich, Jonas, then we, we would just become bad people. I could see that. You could see that, uh, yeah, yeah. I could too. I'd be like the dude, no, uh, no, dude. Here, here's okay, Mister Pen. What? Pen. Pen. Yeah. What the hell does that mean? The King Pen. Oh. <laughs> I am need of right. Uh, no, dude. Okay. So. You'd be a King Pen. Um. Running laundromat schemes. Running laundromat. La laundering money is what I meant. All right, never mind. Um. No, but I was, uh, let's see, where, where was I going with that? You got you threw me <laughs> off. You, you... We got the car, Jonas. Look, it's a beautiful we vehicle. It. We're it's a... Roland's. Oh, I want to go look at his statue it is, again. It is also immune to damage, which is weird. All right, so we got to oh, talk, talk to you Hold again. <laughs> I gotta say, New parts on a lot of crazy road trips, but your driving skills, they're tasty, bro. Don't look at that. They're tasty. So, if you want to ride sometime, you just let me know, bro. Bro! Trip! Okay, dude. You are annoying as hell. Whoa. Yeah, that guy just <coughs> annoys me. Uh, yeah. Oh, it takes damage now. There. Anyway, we'll guard the Iridium flippity flu and rally the troops. When well, Lilith gives the word, it's go time. Oh, you asked the lady ghost head friend to stay out of my head from 8 to 11. That's where I keep the special. Yeah, that, that's good. That's good to know. Thank you. Mission you complete. It, Thank oh, oh, we got a legendary shield, Joni. Oh, it's eleven thousand dollars, Joni. I bet this shield is lame. <laughs> I bet it is too. It's probably the Rough Rider. What is it? It's a power spike red suit. It has like seven hundred. That's ridiculous. It's not good at all. Yeah, dude. I mean, it like does stuff. It gives like a radiation blast. It's a radiation immunity. Uh, but nothing really uses radiation in this game. Yeah, dude, we do. Nah, I'm taking this shield, too. What am I doing with this weak shield? Get this weak shield out of here. Oh, what I was saying. Yes. Is when uh, you were talking about how, like, money, if we got rich, we'd become, like, jerks because absolute power corrupts absolutely. Yeah. But, um, so yesterday, I told you I was listening to this interview. Mm -hmm. with this guy and he's super rich and and whatever and uh and he was talking and he was like and the guy was asking him about like his lavish lifestyle and all this stuff and he was like he's like the problem is when you have the, that sort of money the ridiculous becomes your baseline so mm -hmm. there's never mm -hmm. like so he's he's like so mm -hmm. he goes so i uh, he goes n he's like it's weird because nothing really material really makes me happy anymore mm -hmm. he's like i bought this brand new ferrari and i was super excited about it for like 20 minutes and then i was like oh and he's like it's and he goes he goes car. And he's like it's a car he's like but i went he was like i was out with my buddies playing a game night and we played monopoly and risk and it was one of the best nights of my life because yep. we just sat around and talked he goes he goes your happiness Oof. He's like, your happiness Mars. is based on uh, ex ex experiences. The material items never there, but friendships and experiences with people that you care about are w worth way more than anything. Uh, he gave another yeah. example that I, can't, that I don't really want to talk about because it involved like illegal What's things. This? And he said, <laughs> he said, basically, I spent this day on a beach with my friends. <laughs> All day, we were just like partying, essentially. I'll say partying. Yeah. And uh, 
and he was like, and he's like, and I was on my way home after spending the entire day on the beach with like five buddies. And I was like, a, he was like a, a hippie mm -hmm, who mm -hmm. has no money, could have had the exact same day I had. And this day was one of like the best days of my life that I've ever had. And I have all this money that I don't really care about because it doesn't bring me happiness. It and, doesn't. Right. And it's like if people strive, he's like, and the problem I had, he's like, I, I figured once I got my first million, I'd be happy. Then I got a million. Now I want five million. I got five million. Now I want 10 million. But at the same time, it's not doing anything for me. He's like, all that money gives you is the ability to not have to put up with crap that you don't want to put up with. Yeah. And I'm like, it's so true. It really is. Because if you're like, yeah, I don't want, I hate my job. Well, if you have the money to not have to work there, you quit. And that, that's always been a driving force for me. I'm not going to limit it 100% to uh, spending time with people and like building those human interactions, though. Yeah. If that's what you value, then yeah, you should pursue that. But really, I think the, the determining factor is spending time doing whatever it is you enjoy in life while you're... What the frick? <clears throat> while you're living life. Oh, okay. <laughs> and that is uh, Oh my god. That's the the moon or something. Oh no, they're killing everything. And I couldn't agree more with that. Yeah. Like wow. like uh I re just recently have started focusing on myself and things that I enjoy doing. Mm -hmm. And I'm happier than I've probably ever been. Mm -hmm. Hence hence I quit my job. Yeah, right. <laughs> right, dude, it's like <laughs> It's, yeah. it's nuts, man. Yeah. And like, it, and I honestly don't care. I'm like, I'm. I, these are things that I enjoy. Oh, like not just particular things. I'm sure you're talking about, but in general, everything I'm doing. Yeah. And people are like, yeah, it's funny it works that way. Yeah. And uh, I respect your your uh, your want to do that, sir. They're gonna, they're gonna end the world, I guess. Uh, but yeah, like, like whatever it is you enjoy doing, man, pursue that. Don't concern yourself with what other people are thinking or, or doing or saying. As long as what you're doing isn't illegal, or you're not like hurting anybody else. Right. Exactly. That's an Ayn, an Ayn Rand quote. Yeah. <laughs> Do for yourself, but not at the risk of other anybody else. A death wish, you say. A death I wish. wish for nothing else. Ava, you good to back up the vault? <coughs> and uh yeah. You sure? Ah. You were right. We gotta run towards the fire. Ava. Let's yeah, fight me. Vault hunter, get geared up and say your goodbyes. Alright. This is it, Jonas! Dun, gotta, dun, oh I gotta dun. say oh we gotta say goodbye to everybody. Uh you get a special thing if you say goodbye. Hey, Ava, let's talk. So Lilith is the last one we talked to. Oh, yeah, we're going to talk over Ava because I don't want to hear anything oh, she's got to say. Another thing, another thing the guy said, you know, the guy was like, if you had to, to say anything to, like, these young kids out here, what would you say to them? And he's like, yeah. he's like, think outside the box. Don't follow the beaten path. He's like, it's, he's like, uh, what did he say? It would, anyone can do what you're supposed to do. And you may end up miserable. He's like, so many people sit in a 40-hour-a-week job that mm. they hate because they're afraid to take the risk to do something else. Yeah, that jumping out the window thing is, uh, is a big problem, I've noticed. What do you mean? That like, people won't do it? Yeah, because that jumping out the window, that can be uh, getting the loan. You talked for, to Willis before you talked to Tannis, homie. Oh, did I? I thought I got to oh, say goodbye to oh. everybody, dude. Okay. Well, Willis was... But you have to do all the. Oh, uh, yep, that's unfortunate. You have to do all the non. <laughs> yeah. Before you do the ones. Well, we were conversating. It's fine though. Yeah, I mean that's cool. I'll do it on the other character. Oh, here we got to talk. Claptrap has a mission. I'll grab. <laughs> but yeah, like a lot of people are like they would rather be safe and miserable than take a risk and be happy. Oh, it's Kevin. We can do Kevin real quick. Let's do Kevin. All right, cool. <laughs> That's not you. Oh, we have to. Uh, we have to put that mission up, which I will. 
The Kevin Conundrum. It's, it's the Kevin Conundrum? Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. Okay, you got it. Oh, there it is. Okay. There it is. Kevin Conundrum. All right, so... Where is he? Dun, dun, dun. A cryo weapon. I got one of them right over there. Go grab it, <coughs> Do I have a cryo weapon? I have an electric weapon. I have a cryo weapon. Yay! We it's did a it. Maliwan. Nice. I will use the Maliwan. Did we do something with Kevin before? <coughs> uh, I don't think so. Do you know a Kevin? What was the thing where you had to do where you had to find the little? Men running around the sh not little men, little monsters <laughs> little running around. Little men, the little monsters running around. Hey, the there ship. he is, dude. I found him. It won't let me pick him up. Oh, I did. Oh, I did this on my other character. I just seemed to do it way earlier. It That's won't. It won't let me pick him up. Freezing more. No, it's giving me the prompt to pick him up, but it won't let me. Oh, because the up. game's good. Yeah, it actually it did this when I played this mission with another person as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to say F this mission and we're going to do the main story. That mission. sounds great. Oh wait, not is that one gonna guy. be on the next one though? Uh no, we got a little time. We can get okay. down here. So yes, anyways, back to what I was saying. People would rather take the safe route and be miserable than take a risk to be happy. Yeah, but <laughs> that's mainly because that risk could lead to a lot more uh, unhappiness. It's true. How do you get the devil? Oh, I gotta go up top. It's very there. true. Like, it, and it's like it's like that. It's like that. Uh, it's like what is what's worth it to you? Yeah. yeah. You know, it's like would you would you risk losing it all to be happier than you've ever been, <laughs> or are you cool just being average or miserable? And that's the thing is like. Where the hell am I supposed? How would I get here? You go to the. I gotta. Like, how would I go to the back to get there? Can I just do it from here then? Okay. Uh, yeah, but the the thing is, is like, uh, I don't know. How much do you really just value being rich? Because is that yeah, really? Yeah, but that's rich really, is, But I don't mean. Ha but I don't by happy. I don't mean rich. But that's what I mean. Jumping out the window is is doing what? Then are we talking about seeking happiness or are we seeking financial happiness? Seeking happiness, whatever that is to you. Well, that doesn't that doesn't really take a big jump. It can. I mean, I guess it can. If you're talking about like daily day to day stuff, but I'm thinking like on a larger scale of like getting that business together or uh, starting your own business, which is what people usually have a, a, the difficulty with. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, Not, that's, I think that's my ultimate goal anyway. So yeah, we'll see that that entails a whole different level of risk because right. there is the financial risk. Right. That's true. <clears throat> and living the rest of your life in debt, whereas seeking your happiness could be, uh, I don't know, uh, donating time to being like a uh, what do you call the people who go over. And help people in other countries. Oh, uh, like I know, Chuck. Uh, uh, not, not a, a philanthropist. Not, that's what I was thinking. I was just about to say, not a, a mission, doing mission work. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Not even like religious mission work. You, yeah. What's that? There's that. There's that company. I can't think of what they're called. Yeah, I know what you're talking the, about. Like Habitat Greenpeace for or something yeah. like that. <laughs> Habitat for Greenpeace. Yeah, dude. Something Perfect. Like, <laughs> yeah, Habitat for Greenpeace. But um, yeah, man, it could be. But yeah, it's. But I think like. But I think the other thing that happens is people get comfortable. Uh, in whatever they're yeah, doing. Yeah. So it's like you may hate your job, but you won't even look for a new job, even if it pays you the same amount of money. No, oh, well, no, that's, that's, that's not going to be the case. Be because you're, uh, you're you like, comfortable. I it's, I don't know, man. A warm place to sleep. It's crazy. But I told you, that interview, like, I didn't know a lot about that dude other than he, was, he seemed kind of douchey. And, yeah. like, listening to him speak, I was like, Wow. I was like, I couldn't I couldn't turn the interview off. It was two hours long. <laughs> Listen to the entire thing. And there was only one thing in the entire interview that he said that I was like, I don't really like that. But his head was in the right spot. Just the way he went about it was kind of douchey. So um, I was like, wow. I was like, interesting. Yeah. Um, I like the sentiment, I guess. 
He had he's here's here's an I here's something he said and I thought that was very interesting. He was talking about go, 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 oh, there's stuff going on. Aaron Life. Aaron Life. I feel How do you feel? Powerful. Yeah, she's a, girl. She's a Sarah Angel. Four four doesn't tap to attack. <laughs> Sarah Angel. <laughs> Two. Where'd she go? Oh, she is just... in one white manner. She hero, left. I should use the vernacular. Yes, it is go time. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> it is a go time. Drive, Vault Hunter. All right, we got to drive to get there, and I'm trapped on the wall. <laughs> <coughs> no, you're good. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I like the sentiment. I even took some positive things away from who was that guy that we went to go see? <laughs> who we go at, see? At uh, Texas Gothic or whatever it's called. Oh, 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 oh. What uh, was his name? Uh, something Brenner. Yeah, I even took some positive away from him, but like, uh, I don't know. His presentation was all effed up. <laughs> you ask me. <laughs> Like I could tell he was nervous. Well, I guess. well, also, I mean, he's like, like uh, his presentation was like not he the said. Best. I got, he's kind of a strange bird, man. Oh uh, yeah, but yeah. <laughs> you can tell his head's kind of in the right spot, but his yeah, presentation is like, like a little off. Don't don't try to s sell me on a, a pamphlet, fam, that you think is going to change my life. <laughs> I kind of wanted to read it at least. I don't, I mean, I did too, but just because it was in a pamphlet and he was like, "It's going to change your life," I'm like, "Nah, I'm not falling into that." Yeah, yeah. you're not even getting my quarter, fam. I'm sorry. It wasn't even a quarter. He said it was free. Well, my time yes. is worth at Do least that. Lighting. I feel you. Yeah, man, it's a. Uh... Distract them. Oh, yeah, let's get that. There's men up here. Yeah, dude. There's a big boy in the corn row. God, I keep freezing so much. Oh, I throw my grenades left handed. I just noticed that for the first time. Ever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you a southpaw? Yeah, I'm a southpaw, dog. Oh, heck yeah. Yeah, dude. Southed I didn't up. realize. Yeah, it was because it, the, the, the motion there. was so slow. I saw it forever. I am playing very poorly right now. I am uh, freezing like a bee. So I can't really tell what's going on. Hey, the skulls are still here, guys. This is the first enemy we've killed since we've been in. The yeah, this whole video has been us driving. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they get the uncut, unadulterated experience. Yeah, at least, you're, at least your screen isn't frozen. So I mean, that that works. I mean, that's kind of the point. Hey, this this boy is not my friend. Get out of here, boyfriend. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Yeah, that, that's kind of the point of why we record the host. Yeah, it makes sense. It's so that we don't have those problems with the video. <laughs> it makes sense to me. And I'm not just complaining it's about it the whole time. Because I would definitely be mad if it were me. Oh, yeah, I feel you. What is going on? Let the what are you going to do, Tannis? Oh, yes, we had to turn off these things. I got you. That was the Break them up, girl. Boom. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about Tannis being like all super strong. Yeah, she's a siren. And uh, if you play a siren, she's a siren. And then you got another siren. You're a siren. I hate sirens. They <laughs> yeah, yeah, they kind of bombard you with the sirens. No, I don't mean in the game. I mean like in real life, like when the, when the helicopters go by. And it's oh. like rear, rear, rear. <laughs> Well, I guess that wouldn't be a helicopter. It'd be more of a. I don't know. Um, as as much as I don't care for uh, the recent string of police brutality <laughs> that's been occurring, and I do prefer the sound of police sirens. Yeah. Next stop, right here. I hope you're ready. Are we doing that one on the next one? Uh, yeah, I guess we should, huh? All right. Well, I'll cancel that then. Never mind. No, no, no it's already happening. Oh, that looks. But cool. we're heading to the cathedral. Aw, oh, dang. <clears throat> you can all right, it. that is all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. If you've already done that, just share the video with your friends because we love you sharing our stuff with your buddies. For Jonas and TNT Dynamite. We'll catch you on the next one. Uh, we are. Oh. Is there going to be a. Uh... <laughs>